Hilm Tags and welcome this is Ash from Hilm My Tech and um, we first of all need to know whether I have any static noise from this microphone because I just tested it it's a bit of an issue so I'm going to need uh, the guys to let me know let me just join in the whole screen all right listen guys can you hear me now yeah I can hear yeah. you okay is there any static happening no no it sounds good all right I think I resolved it okay so we just started to stream I'm now uh, capturing our display screen. Let me go back to the webcam one. So welcome, uh, this is Ash from Hill My Tech and on this channel I will help you improve your relationship with tech. And today what we're doing is a special live stream of a PC build. We are also streaming from, uh, uh, well, we're, we're capturing the uh, Discord server at the same time. There's a Discord server link in the description below if you want to join us. If my tech admins would kindly also put the Discord server in the YouTube link. Now, if you're joining on YouTube, please let me know. Number one, can you hear me? Number two, is there any static uh, noise from my microphone? And once you guys confirm, I will wait for a couple of people on YouTube to confirm. Then we will get cracking with today's live build. And it's going to be a bit different. Uh, if you can see, we have on uh, my right here, we've got... Um, uh, one of our tech admins, uh, that's Shaka. Say hello, Shaka. Hi. Okay, Shaka and uh, Julio, I think we're the only ones here right now. Let me check on my phone whether we're actually live because we've restarted this a few times. Well, I've restarted a few times with some tr issues. Um, okay, it says live. Three watching, that's just three. Me, you, and you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We need to see. Okay, we've got Hassan Hassan, audio video. Okay, cool. Hassan Hassan just joined in from YouTube. Yeah, you can see. Okay, we've got Hassan Hassan, okay. audio video. Fantastic. Um, I have got some sort of audio from my phone, so which is good news. Okay. So if you guys are just joining, today we are doing the live build. Okay. There's a difference. I want you guys to tell me exactly how to build this computer. So I will wait for your instructions to tell me step one, do X, do Y, or do Z. And I will only intervene if I think one of the steps is not correct, unless it's something I don't know which you can explain. You can call us on Discord. We will hear you. You can join us on our server there. There's two tech admins who will take care of you. Other people will also join. You can contribute in chats there on the server. You can chat here on YouTube, but you can also live voice call us. We will see you you can also video call us on Discord and we will see you. So let me show you what we're gonna do today. I hope you can see on my screen right now. Let me bring the Ryzen stuff. We have got a Ryzen 7 and this is what we chose for our CPU. And I think I've got a bit of autofocus going on here. I don't know if I can adjust this. Uh, let me see if I can adjust this. Uh, autofocus, autofocus. Uh, oh yeah, maybe I can adjust. Maybe that might work here. Yeah. Okay, yes, Ryzen Seven, correct. We got um on YouTube. We've got Phoenix Adit. We've got Spooky Tofu. We've got um Hassan Hassan so far. All right. So we've got a motherboard from Gigabyte. We have got. We got some audio issues over there. I I can hear it, it coming back. What the static? Yeah, it's coming back. Oh crap! Oh snap! How bad is it? It's like go back to the same like blurry noise. Okay. Um. Okay, so corrupted circuit says switch to white only for now. It seems to be fine. Oh, it's cracking again. All right, guys. Yeah. What I'm going to have to do, I think it is the webcams. I've got two webcams. So, unfortunately, I'm going to have to cancel one webcam so we don't need to see me. So, I'm going to remove one webcam and hopefully the static will go. If ever there's a problem, we will restart the stream. So, don't go anywhere. Let me just remove one webcam, okay? Okay, I've just removed one webcam. Can you guys still hear me? Now I can hear you just fine. Okay, yeah. is the static gone? Yeah, it's gone. Right, seems to be a problem, but using... I actually have the same webcam, which is um, 
two the two of the same webcam it's logitech c920 hd i was trying to use but let me just quickly show you okay let me bring all the parts first okay we've also got some ram and we've got our graphics card which i can't even have space to show you right now here's our graphics card this is the radeon 5500 xt okay so those are the five parts we're going to use today one two three four and five now why are we doing this let me just see if i can no 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 yeah yeah you can watch me for a bit there we go can you guys see me now i'm gonna have to kind of do this every now and then um the reason we're doing this is to test for the very first important part which is called pulse test power on self test and that is something which a lot of people miss out on when they build their PC for the first time. This is the most crucial part of building a PC. With these five components, you will test the entire system. That's if it pulls, you're good to go. Everything else is just semantics. It's just a question of plugging the right things in. If it doesn't pulse, that's why you need to go back and maybe return parts or do some further testing. Okay, so let me show you back. We are going to do this today. And you guys are going to help me. I haven't unboxed anything. All the parts here are brand new, except the, um, I think the, the, the motherboard was also brand new. We bought the motherboard brand new, correct? Yeah, we did. Yeah. So the only thing which is not brand new is the graphics card. And that was an open box from CCL. And I mentioned in our last stream that this was going to be a, an experimental graphics card for this build. Maybe someone can have a better suggestion for us, but we will test this out, hopefully. Okay, how today's gonna work? I'm gonna do the first part, so the pause test. Depending how the situation goes, if my health is okay, I may pause the stream from OBS side, which means on YouTube, the stream will pause, and I will tell you guys, maybe, okay guys, we'll take like a 30 minutes break, so I'm gonna go eat something, whatever, and I come back, and then we're gonna continue the build. If it's successful, we're gonna now start to put the build into the PC. In theory, that's the plan. In practice, it may go horribly, horribly wrong, so please bear with me. And uh, yeah, so thank you for tuning in. We're gonna crack in a few minutes. Um, you feel free to contribute uh, in the chat on both uh, Discord server and YouTube. If you wanna support the channel, feel free to contribute with Super Chats, uh, more than welcome. My tech admins will be on Discord if you want to go there and you can ask them some questions. Uh, they might be able to help you uh, generally. Um, if you want more one-to-one, -one, there will be a fee you have to pay with them if you contact them, but you can take this up with them behind the scenes, okay? And uh, so yeah, we've got E.B. Ghi and Ahmad Antak, Mr. Seven Digit, and uh, who is who is Ryan? Welcome everyone from YouTube, welcome. So we're gonna crack in, in a minute. Now I'll pass you over to my two admins that can take it over while I get myself ready to restart the build, hopefully. Uh, while you're doing this, how I want you to tell me, you can put a chat in YouTube, as in step one, what we should do exactly, and, and don't be general, be very specific. Or you can leave it on the um, Discord server, or you can even call in to say, look, step one, this is what you need to do. And uh, we hopefully will go with this flow. All right, so give me two ticks, my admins take over. Shaka. Yeah. You, you can talk to them while I get myself ready. Yeah, Phoenix was saying that um, AMD is not good, but honestly, it depends on what you need a company to do. Um, the video cards don't um, determine exactly what the PC will be able to do overall. Um, you can have two cards that are very similar in performance, you know. It doesn't really matter what, the, what brand it comes from.
Uh, your screen is frozen. Oh. oh, he means stream. Okay, I I don't know. Get, press just press refresh on your browser if you're using a computer, or same thing from your phone if you have your phone open on the screen. The stream. Oh yeah, I'm not I'm not moving. Honestly, I don't like cameras. I honestly do not like cameras. So I don't want to do it. end up moving around and doing something I'm not supposed to do on camera. <laughs> That's the problem. All right, guys, I'm back. So what did I miss? Oh, nothing much. Um, some people were saying that it looked as though it was froze or something. You said I'm not moving. That's, that's why. <laughs> well, you need to make sure you keep moving, yeah? <laughs> I don't like cameras. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's fine. Okay, guys, so what's the first thing that we're supposed to do when we build a PC? What's the absolute first thing? What have we got? Okay, I will take the motherboard out of the case, out of the, out of the box. Um, is this what you guys think we should do? Take the motherboard out of the box? I mean, I'm talking the absolute first thing, you know, think about building a PC, what do you do? F absolute first thing. Um, I'm not sure what you mean. Um, what, in terms of precaution, preparations and stuff like that. Okay, I would say you make sure you have a good working space. Okay, good. Um, make sure you're not working on carpet, that kind of thing. Okay, cool. Yes, yeah, so Mr. 7 DG says don't build on a carpet, correct? Uh, spooky Tofu, check if the CPU pins are not bent, which is fair enough, but that's not the first thing you're going to want to do. Make sure you have the right tools. Correct. Let's driver, that kind of thing. Correct. All right, so let's, let's um, break it down. If you're, if you're a little bit... Um, have a little bit of anxiety towards anti-static you can use a wrist strap correct okay yes so shaka you're on the right track um you, you're correct first of all your environment to build on is important i'm using right now i've put a this is a lionel carpet or vinyl or lionel um and it has a bit of a kind of a buffer a rubber buffer at the bottom i don't want to um, use or you can use your um, wood surface as well no problem as long as it's anti-static okay you don't have to spend a lot of money to get anti-static uh, mats um something you know um, like this will work fine 
Um, what Shaka also said, if you want to use an anti-risk bracelet, do that, but it has to be plugged in to something which is connected to a plug mode, not switched on. A lot of people sometimes they'll put an anti-static bracelet connected to something which is not even connected to an electrical outlet which is off. If you do that, you're not even discharging your static electricity. There is no point. So make sure you do this. Now, I, I'll be honest with you, I don't use static uh, bracelet. I find them annoying. They get in my way. Uh, in the seven years of PC building, I take my precautions. I've never had to use one. Not to say you shouldn't, just saying my preference. But I, what I tend to do is I will touch something which is metallic, which is connected to a plug, but which is not turned on to discharge occasionally here and there. And one thing you have to remember, the components these days, yeah? Um, the modern components, they have very, very good built-in protection, uh, especially if you get good, decent parts. Not to say you should take risk, but the likelihood of you, you know, <laughs> misfiring something while you're building is a lot less nowadays than it used to be 20 years ago. So just relax, everyone, as long as you don't build any more static from, you know, from uh, where you're building. But if you're working on carpet, it'd be a good idea to also stand on something anti-static, okay? So that's an absolute first step. Are, are we with me so far? Yeah. Cool. Now, in terms of tools, what tools should we get? Phillips number two screwdriver. Okay. Uh, Shaka, um, give people a chance to, you know, to, um, to contribute first. And then, because uh, we're the admins, we'll give them a chance. We'll read off what they're saying. And then we can... Uh, uh, we can input. Is that okay? Yeah. So guys, tools. What kind of tools do you guys think we need to build a PC? And Khuteb says, Khuteb Tahir says, the most underrated tech YouTuber ever. May Allah bless you with success. I mean, I mean, amen. I hope uh, you're, you're pumping me up too much, man. We, we're nowhere near a big YouTuber, but thank you. Hopefully someday we might become with your help and uh, we'll get there. Okay. Nice one. Okay. So, all right. Tools, guys. What kind of tools should you need? Okay, no one's answering. That's fine. You'll need a screwdriver, like uh, Shaka said. Usually, you'll need just one uh, decent screwdriver, um, a Phillips screwdriver, small one. That's the most you're going to need. I mean, there are some other tools you might need, like a cutter to open your boxes. What else do you need? Um, the screwdriver needs to be magnetic so the screws won't drop inside the case. Yeah, that's, correct. That's annoying. Magnetic screwdriver, you know, is, is preferred. So these are a toolkit which has got a lot more different types of screwdrivers. It's always good to have one of these. Um, I'm just going to pick any one at the moment. We'll see what works, what doesn't work. But uh, you may also need a pair of tweezers sometimes. You may also need some zip ties. That's for the building aspect. But those will come afterwards. But just right now, to test, what well, the question is, if I want to test, just test the post, do we need any tools just to test for the post, yes or no? Um, as far as I know, um, not really. Yeah, usually just to test for the post, we don't need any tools. Okay, now that the prep is out of the way, what's the first component that we need to work on? We need to work on... Oh my God, Shaka, give people a chance. <laughs> 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 you're, you're part of the tech admin side, yeah? Don't be too... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, um, I, I can't see the text on the discord so i don't know whether people are actually writing or not um julio is there any anything happening on discord and or is it just on youtube okay uh, mr 7 did you say motherboard cpu do people agree motherboard cpu okay um we only have uh, things happening on youtube at the moment okay no problem so, are we starting with motherboard CPU, yeah or nay? Yeah, Spooky Tofu says yes. Shaka, do you agree? Yes. All right, then. Let's get cracking with the motherboard CPU. Okay. So, our motherboard should be new. 
There is one mistake people make when they try to work on a motherboard in terms of the bag. Do you guys know what the, what the mistake is? The motherboard, we've got a, a manual, which is underrated sometimes. Guys, don't throw this away. We have the shield, yeah, for the I.O. port. We have a couple of SATA cables. We have an included disc, which I still don't get till today why they're still including these discs. I think nobody uses these anymore. Um, we tend to scrap them because you want the latest drivers anyway. Yeah, yeah, throw it out. We'll throw it out. Who is, who is jealous? Who is Ryan? Why are you jealous? This is for not for us. It's for a client, you know? They need it for work. <laughs> uh, okay. What is the one mistake that people make when it comes to... I'm going to keep the manual out. It might come in handy later. What's the one mistake when it comes to the static bag? Does anyone know? If not, Shaka is going to be answering. Hold on. <laughs> oh, Julio, you're messing with the Heal My Budget thing, yeah? I, I tell you what, you start the Heal My Budget channel. I'll support you. Okay, so if no one knows, the mistake that some people make, they think the whole bag is anti-static, and that's not true. The outside of the bag is not anti-static. Only the inside is anti-static. So please never take out the board and then place on the bag to work on. This is dangerous. Okay, never, ever, ever, ever. Let's touch something metallic. All right. Can I ask the phone? Okay. Now, if you don't have a surface to work on, the motherboard box is a very good surface to work on. And here we have our little motherboard. Let me put these away. Oh, lordy, lordy, lordy. So, um, uh, fairly, you know, fairly straightforward motherboard. We have the black and gray accents. Nothing too fancy. But it looks cool. And this is the X570UD from uh, Gigabyte. Okay, cool. Now, we have an 8-pin CPU plug here. I do apologize about the webcam. It's not my choice today. I wanted to use a different camera, but we couldn't do it. Uh, full source for the RAM. There's a CPU socket here. Okay, cool. So, now that we've got the motherboard out, do I have to do anything to the motherboard at this stage? Or can I... What's the next step? Your next step? What's the next step? Is there anything I need to check on the motherboard? Check it for any plastic. Um, on so, some of some of sometimes some of the boards have um, plastic wraps on it. Correct. That, um, that cover the um, chipset and stuff like that. Correct. Um, he's when right. So have it, on, it's gonna smell so we have a quick look. Maybe there are plugs for the ports. Maybe there are plastic covers. Maybe there are just plastic transparent stuff just, you know, stuck on. But from what I can see, this doesn't look like it's the case today. Um, seems pretty standard. And the back plate, this is standard for AMD. Um, we don't need to remove this. If you were to install a, an aftermarket cooler, you probably need to be removing this, but we're not. We're going to be using the uh, Rave Prism Cooler from AMD Ryzen. All right. Who is Ryan says processor is next, I think. Is he correct? Yes, he's correct. All right. Processor, you are correct, my boy or my girl. This is the Ryzen 7 3700X. And... Uh, we are going to get this little bad boy out. Okay. We have, this is the actual processor. Or the sticker. I've never actually used this sticker on anything. I need to start because I've got a collection of them. And we have a nice cooler, which is the prism cooler. Let's take this out. Uh, we have it. Oh, this is fat, man. Do you know what? I forgot how fat this is. <laughs> cool. Now, guys, when you remove the cooler, okay, um, almost all the time, I've not come across any situation where there is not pre-thermal place applied. 
and look how the thermal plate is applied i mean it's on the cooler and as far as you don't as long as you don't mess with it you don't put your fingerprints you don't touch it don't don't smudge it you should be able to use that go straight onto the processor you're not going to have to use cooler on the processor is this cooler good enough sorry the thermal paste yes of course it's good enough if you have to change the aftermarket cooler another point then you're gonna have to repaste the whole thing but yeah um i i, I do know though some people they kind of remove this and then they get another thermal paste maybe something better in their opinion and they will apply on the processor and then you know paste it around I don't see the need of doing this. Don't anybody know scientifically with documentation whether there's a need to do this? Because I don't. So I'm gonna leave this to the side for now. Upside down, okay, you can use the, the little uh, plastic holder to keep it. We have a couple of uh, cables here. These are for RGB if I'm not mistaken correct if you have any RGB lightning to be sorting out you're going to be using these but I don't think we're going to um, use one of these we're probably just going to use uh, probably just the USB one I think just this one not this one that's when you have other coordinated RGB stuff correct me if I'm not if I'm mistaken we're probably only going to use this one for some RGB on the uh, fan itself okay let's put the rest back in there and as for the processor, I'm going to remove it straight from the pack. What is now the next step? Do we, what do we do? Uh, we need to take the processor out of the package. Yeah. So AMD having the pins on the processor, be very careful when you remove it. It's unlike Intel. Because all the pins are at the bottom, I have bent, you know, <laughs> my main uh, AMD FX in my last build, my main build before, and I managed to res rescue it. But sometimes you can bend. Not all pins actually are active on a processor. I'm not sure about Ryzen, but sometimes you can straighten a pin, uh, hopefully. Um, so it's still in, in the pack, which is fine. You don't need this little thingy. You don't need that one. Let me put the boxes away. All right. So, oh crap, it dropped. Um, so on the box, on the motherboard, we have a little tab here. Yeah, a little uh, holder, which we press down, push to the side and lift. Now it opens the socket. And uh, unfortunately I can't show you, but we have a little right angle to the this this end of it so you have to match the little triangle of the processor which i believe on here is going to be down this corner okay this is going to match this orientation and it's a zif zero insertion force so we're just going to place that in there very carefully so moment of truth now if i mess this up oh my oh my god be careful when you open the pack it will snap off so you might actually you know um drop it and you hold the processor gently by the side and here's the pins at the bottom and we're just going to drop it in there quietly and nicely oops let me just move it this way so the arrow should be pointing there the little triangle gold triangle you just place or did i mess it up already it's not going in for some reason did i mess up the arrow Oh, yeah, no, it is. It's fine. There we go. It's just slotted in. Nice and simple. No problem. Okay. And uh, next we press the tab and clip it in and Bob's your uncle. Voila. That's the most delicate part to do in a build. And as you can see, it was not a problem at all. Okay. Cool. Next one. Next step. Next step is the CPU cooler. As usual, Shaka is very, very excited. He's going to answer for everyone. Shaka. Tut, 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 Shaka. Julio, <laughs> I need some disciplinary action over here, man. <laughs> uh, okay, Mr. Seven, did you say RAM or cooler? So, is it RAM or is it cooler? Air fan.
Irfan. So we have Ram Kula Irfan and Salam Walaikum Salam Hamza. Welcome. Okay, we've got the cooler, which is a whole engine type thingy, and the paste will go down. Now, orientation does it really matter at this stage? We got clip. You have a clip to the right. You have a clip to the left. The lever of the clip I tend to put to the right, closer to the I would say the CPU socket. Okay. That's what I tend to do. Does anybody do it differently? Do does anybody do it the other way? I would I would always put it this way. The other reason is because the uh, plug for the CPU is usually located here, right? So I want it as close as possible. And if you can read on there, it says CPU fan. This is the gray one on this one. The other one is an optional fan for other fans, for secondary fans, really. So we'll make sure this goes in here, in which case this can be a little bit fiddly as well, but nothing, you know, to worry about. What I would do is put not the, not the lever side first, but the other side. You place it down, okay? There's a tab here. You're going to clip the first one here. And you place it down. Ooh, this can be a bit messy sometimes. If I mess this up, there we go. Now it's just on the spot. And you press the cooler down. Okay, kind of here. You just press it down and get the other clip in. Clips into the tab. And then you're going to push that lever all the way down and voila, done. How cool is this? Lego work, guys. Lego. This is Lego. And now we have the little plug. Don't forget the plug for the CPU fan, which is important. Some people forget it. This is a four pin, which is better. Sometimes some uh, coolers will have or some fans will have a three pin, which is okay as well, but it doesn't give you as much options for monitoring your fan. Uh, you'd have to use software or go into the BIOS. So it only plugs in one way, guys. Now, this is a little bit long, so you can, if you want, do a little tie just in itself. And that reduces the length of the cable that you want to plug in. Okay? So push that in there. Uh, I think it goes in this way. We, we're putting in the gray tab. There we go. Hope you can see this. Oopsie daisy. All right. It's gone in. Perfecto. Nice one. So that's that. Anyone apart from Shaka, what's next? <laughs> I think Shaka's gone. No, I'm not gone. Oh, you're not gone. What's next? Nice, Hamza. Thank you. Thank you. So who we got on YouTube? Come on, guys. What's next? What do we do next? What is next? What is next? While you gather your thoughts, I'm going to just tidy up a bit of these mess. Shaka, feel free to talk, you know, with them. I'm just going to put my stuff away. So what's next? I'm a bit of a freak. Everybody's, everybody's yeah? saying RAM. Everybody's saying RAM. Oh my god. Why are they saying RAM? They like RAM too much. I got three people saying RAM, one saying GPU. Three people saying RAM, one says GPU. Hmm. So, is the majority, is the majority correct? Or does it, do they know something we don't? Well, I, I do agree with them. I will go with the RAM nets. Yep, I would say RAM as well. It's, it's quite easy. You, okay, actually, you know, it wouldn't really matter. You could put the GPU, you could put the RAM, but if you have a system where you're not using any discrete graphics card, so you wouldn't be putting a graphics card at this stage, it would be RAM. RAM is a lot more um, standard to put at this stage, okay? Now, luckily for us, the cooler, the fan, is not big enough to cover. I know from this angle it looks like it's covering, but I do have a bit of space. Now, in terms of configuration, another problem, another issue, now we've discussed it on the channel before, 
what happens with the configuration for the RAM. How much have we got? We've got 32 gigs, which is uh, from uh, Team GeForce, T-Force Dark Z, okay, 2 by 16 gig. How should I place the RAM? Shaka, I don't answer. Because there are four slots here. Okay, Mr. Chief says dual channel, but what do you mean by dual channel? Um, let's say for argument's sake, this is uh, from the left, from, from the closer to the cooler. One, two, three, four. Numbers one, two, three, four. How do I install the RAM? Mr. Seven Digit says second slot and fourth slot. Second slot and fourth slot. Why okay. do you why do you say this, Mr. Seven Digit? And why Shaka? Why do you say that as well, Shaka? Because memory needs to be spaced out. Memory needs to be spaced out. So why not one and three then? Um it depends on the board and the manual uh, as well. The manual should tell you where to put the memory in on on the first slots that should be um, filled up. Correct. I think, I'm, so give me one second, guys. I think I've left my webcam on some sort of auto um, exposure. I'm going to change that because it's getting a bit annoying from my end. If I can change this uh, exposure. Uh, okay, here should be fine. Let me off that and apply that. Okay, right. So hopefully now the, the exposure won't change anymore. Okay, yes, it's, that's correct uh, usually. Now, don't assume it's always going to be uh, slot number two and four. This is where, again, your manual will come in very handy if you're in that. But on the board itself, you can look. I don't know if you can see here. It's going to be a little bit difficult to see. Uh, but there is a little indication. Okay, um, it says to me, oh, it's hard to see. Um, it says uh, A2 and B2, which is 2 and 4. It gives you the configuration. And a lot of times, that without knowing how to build stuff or how to test for things, on the board, if you have a look on the board, there's information on the board uh, most of the time. Or check the manual. But yes, majority of time for a dual configuration in a four RAM slot um, context is going to be number two and number four most of the time now what happens if you put it in one and three is it the end of uh is the end of the build is it not going to post that's a quiz question what happens if you don't put the ram both ram into the correct slot what if you put in one and two or one and three or one and four or two and three does anybody know Um, somebody saying RAM would be slow. Mr. Chief. RAM would be slow. Is it definite that RAM would be slow? Or is it possible, Mr. Chief? And are there anything else that could happen? Is saying not really the most bad that can happen is freight or short circuited overheated parts. Um, I don't think so. Though. Corrupted circuit. I don't know about short circuiting. I've not. Have you? Do you have any evidence of this? Um, I, I do you have any documentation. I, I would doubt it would be a short circuit issue unless if they've done this and then went and did overclocking and they messed with the voltage on the RAM. Uh, that possibly can happen, but not because of placement, but that would be because of voltage irregulation. Now, other things which can happen in rare occasions, yes, uh, it could underperform. The, the bandwidth will not be completely set. Um, what could also happen in some boards, okay, it is possible that only one of the slot would recognize one um, of the RAM. And in other boards, it is possible that if you put it in the wrong configuration to begin with, it just won't post. It's a bit more rare, but it can happen. The point is, um, it's not always the end of the world. All you need to do is, if you think it's not posting, the RAM is one of the easiest things to just quickly change or swap the, um, the placement, um, uh, I would say, um, order. Okay? 
And uh, DDR4 is a lot easier. All the RAMs, you know, they, they operate the same way. So we got a slot to just measure which way it goes. I think this should be fine. No, I'm actually wrong right now. It should be the other way. Yeah. Never go by the label, guys. Always go by the orientation. So we put it in RAM slot number two, I believe. Oh, I can't see from this angle. Okay, it's this angle. Also, some some memory module um, heat sinks may be too tall, and they may end up interfering with the heat the heat sink on the cooler. Yeah, correct. Be for that. Correct. Some some of these will be in the way, so you may have to put the RAM first. And then you're gonna have to put the cooler depending on the configuration and the size of the fan. Okay, we got uh, clips on each end which you need to kind of pull back to be able to insert the RAM. So just nothing major. We're gonna put the RAM in there. Do I keep messing up? I think I messed up again. There we go. And slot that in and press down. And we heard a click. And next one, same thing. Is it this way? No, it's this way. Two and four. Press down and click and Bob's your uncle apparently. Never been Bob. Still waiting for Bob. And voila. So we've got what we call a motherboard, CPU and RAM combo with the cooler. Okay. Um Spooky Tofu is asking me some questions. Um got any favorite game? C G C S G O perhaps. Um Spooky Tofu, I hate to disappoint you. I got into tech because of PC gaming. Unfortunately, after seven years, although I have over 120 games in my library, which my sons, they, they enjoy, I've only clocked one game. And yeah, you can call me pathetic if you want, but I, it's quite sad. I don't have time to play. I love the whole industry. I love the tech. I love the gear. Uh, I just don't have time to play. And sometimes I, I turn on, I try to load a game and I just can't be bothered. Um, it's a good thing and a bad thing at the same time. We'll see what we do on the channel if we do a lot more uh, PC builds for gaming. Okay, guys, so at this stage, is there anything else I need to do or can we move to the next part? Hello? Now Shaka stays quiet when I need him to talk. Yeah, the next part is a GPU. I was just typing on the chat. Okay, fair I enough. I have to talk, so I can't I can type at the same time. Okay. Can someone correct me? But I think we need to install one of the cables from the processor for the RGB. Am I correct? Or am I wrong? Uh, cables? Yeah, I think one of the little ones, which is the USB. Um, if I'm not mistaken, am I, am, I, am I correct? I don't remember. I did my last build a while ago. Does this go in? You can always add later. There's a slot on the, here, we've got, we've got two covers here, okay. No Hassan Hassan water cooled heat sink, no, it's just a normal Ryzen Rave Prism cooler, which is a decent cooler, um, you know, I, I don't have an aftermarket cooler neither. All right, yes. So, do I need to put this, uh, if, I, if I remember correctly, if I don't put this, I think the, we're not going to get RGB lighting on the fan. Am I correct? Does anybody know? Can anybody remember? I think I need to put this. Do you know what? Um, I'm going to find, is this USB? So, one on this end. One on this end. System fan, LED CPU. Yeah, I think there's an LED CPU here. No, 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 that's not it. That can't be it. Does anybody know? Um, not that I know of. Uh, I should think that when you plug in the fan on a CPU header, it would light up as soon as you turn it on. Well, we can find out later because the other bit, it plugs into a USB port. Okay, you know, guys, if, if ever this doesn't give us any RGB, just remind me, I'll come back to this. This can be added later anyway, okay? I just can't remember. And it's not that important anyway. A client is not bothered with RGB at this stage. But it'd be nice to see a colorful RGB stuff. Do you know what I'm going to... I'm going to... All right. Or maybe the RGB will come, but we just can't control it without the little cable. Okay, cool. So what's the next stage? The next stage will be... Uh, yeah, get the graphics card of the box. 
Okay. Shaka wants the graphics card. Shaka is the boss. We listen to Shaka. Shaka the boss. Shaka the boss. Shaka the boss. Okay. Oops, wrong way around. Okay, guys, if you don't know what we plan to do after this build in the future, we want to make this a regular theme that we're going to build PCs for gaming or for whatever you need to do on the channel Bespoke, which means it's going to be done by you and for you. We're going, we're going to give you the logistics of it, and uh, when we finish, we're going to send it to you. That's the plan. That's the theory. There's a lot of conditions. It will depend on your support and your help, but we want to make this a regular thing. So if you like this concept, please let us know and make sure you subscribe and share the channel so we can get cracking on that. All right. So the GPU, this was an open box GPU. It should not have been used. Maybe they use it for testing, whatever it is, but we got it from CCL. We should be fine. Uh, in the box, you have again, a driver CD, which we're not going to use and uh, just a little card thingy, you know, which I don't know why they waste time with this stuff, man. We never, nobody ever uses this. Okay, so same principle with the graphics card. Damn, this is heavier than it looks. I'm gonna put these things back. Um, it's statically, you know, it's statically protected inside. Okay, so let me touch something to discharge static electricity. Uh, Walaikum Salaam, Aydin, I'm good man, how are you? It's creative Design just joined. Okay, wow, this is a lot heavier than it looks guys. This is the GTX 5500 XT, 8GB RAM, okay? Wow. Why, why are you going wow? <laughs> Shaka. Yeah. Shaka, why are you so excited man? Relax, man. Oh, you Relax. said it's heavier than it looks. Yeah, oh. it, it's, it, it looks, you know, the last size I saw something similar was the GTX, what was it called? The um, 750 Ti. It's quite similar in size, but it's a lot heavier. It's twice as heavy. Okay. Right, so you go in there and you go in there. Okay, well, I'll do this later. All right. So, is there anything... Uh, that we need to know before we insert the GPU. For example, there we have three PCI slots here. Un, dos, tres. Yeah? Which one am I going to plug it in? And why? Um, which slot? First slot, did you say, Shaka? So, number one, uh, number two, or number three? Oh, uh, spooky tofu is saying first lot. Why okay. spooky? Is it a question of first come first serve? Is there a reason for this? Unknown unknown says hello. Hello back. Who is Ryan? I think. Okay. Yep. Put it on PCI Gen 2 times 8 Corrupted Circuit says. Corrupted Circuit. Yeah. You are cruising for bruising, my brother. You're hiding behind your keyboard today, huh? Good okay, on Mr. you. Mr. Digit saying higher bandwidth. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yes, Mr. 7 Digit. First slot, always the best slot because this will have the higher bandwidth. And if I'm not mistaken, this motherboard, did we check whether it supports PCI 4? just yet i can't be sure but in any case yes if especially if you're doing a single gpu setup it's going to be the first one okay some people i've seen they will put in on the second or the third and i don't know why you only use the second and the third when you're going to have a dual cpu like crossfire or sli okay yeah so um, again easy lego don't forget if you're using a box don't bring your motherboard all the way uh, to you know uh, before the edge because otherwise you can't actually plug it in. Okay, you need a little space and it slots nicely in. Um, you check the board, the, the card, whether it has any plugs or any, you know, any, any caps or plastic, whatever it is. Yeah, um, it's good to always test the fan, just do a little sprinkle, see if it's turning fine. Um, and yeah, that seems to be fine. And the bracket is already there. So we're just gonna slot that in. I can't see from this angle, man. I can't see, man. Oh, you go down the mine. You go see. Oh, you go. Here we go. 
Uh, wait, go. Uh, go, go okay, 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 I got it. Oh, no, I don't got it. I don't got it. What is going on here? There we go. And we clip that in. There we go. It went clip. And once again, who's your uncle? Who's your uncle? Who's your uncle? Who's your uncle? <laughs> yes, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, okay. Now we done all that we can from this angle, yeah? What is next? What comes next? Somebody tell me. What is next? Okay, I'm gonna wait for a reply on the chat. See wait you. for a reply. What is next? Please, somebody tell me next. Okay, Mr. Digit says power supply. Mr. Digit says power supply. Spooky tofu says storage. Remember, remind me not to eat your tofu, bro. Hassan Hassan says BIOS. Mr. Chief says hard drive. Damn, we've got a few options here. Power supply, storage, BIOS, and hard drive. What comes next? Okay, we're going to have to take a vote on here. Shaka, what comes next? Me, I'd say power supply. Yes, I would say yes. Now, guys, we are not doing the actual full assembly build. We are testing for post. And if you don't know, I will try to put a link later on here. Or you can go to my channel and find out how to test for post. When you test for post, you do not need hard drive. In fact, right now, we've got four components. Motherboard, CPU, RAM, and GPU. And the only fifth component that we need is going to be the power supply to power the whole thing. Obviously, you need to connect it to a monitor to see for pause. But in some cases, and I've shown it in a previous video that I didn't even need to connect to a monitor to test for pause. It would depend if you've got indication on the board, like, you know, a beep code from a, a little speaker or some other buttons for testing for a correct BIOS uh, boot. So, yeah. Um, so, that was what we'll do. So, where is our power supply? And here is our power supply. Here is our power supply. And here is our power supply. Let me put this. Sonic 550 watt, 80 plus bronze. Sonic 550 watt, whatever he said. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Um, this is not semi modular, is it? We got, we went with the cheapest one. Uh, I don't think we got semi modular, which I think we may end up regretting later. I hope not. So in the box, manual. Um, sponge cable oh we got power cable guys sometimes cheaper power supplies they don't even come in with a power cable so that's something to bear in mind and we got some uh, screws and we have the main power supply oh, okay nice and heavy and another indication of a good power supply is heavy components so generally heavy means good heavy means good no Julio I ain't talking about you I'm talking about components Okay. Right. So, let's unbox this bad boy. Boy! Here we have it. Right, this is a normal standard power supply, not semi modular, not modular. Um, quality stuff, continuous power of 550 watt. And it comes with a switch at the back, nothing fancy. Okay? So let me keep that there, push that there. All right then. Now, what am I plugging in first? Cable, let's get the cable out as well. Man, my place is a mess right now. I'm gonna have to clear this whole thing up. All right, so does anybody know what do I plug in first? Is there, is there like any standard? Okay, it's, uh, Mr. Digit is saying now you're looking for the ATX 4 plus 4 connector, which will go on the motherboard at the top and the main power connector 24 pin, usually on the right side of the motherboard. Yep, correct. So we need to connect three things, the CPU, the 24 pin motherboard stuff. And let's not forget, I actually do this quite a lot. I forget 
we also need to power the graphics card okay so there's no specific order for this one you can do whatever you want we're going to grab the cpu um eight pin and you know, usually you have to clip them together it's a bit annoying these things are annoying i i, I wish they do come up with a better design maybe you know more expensive power supplies has better design but i hate dealing with these sometimes especially to untangle and it only goes in one way there's a little tab at the edge so we're going to plug it in this way hopefully oh uh, come on how do you go in how do you go in uh krasnots is it this way is it this way okay uh kidoki there we go there we go plug in there you go i wasn't too also, hot sometimes was... some people confuse the pci express connector for the cpu power don't ever do that it's every cable is labeled yeah correct they're labeled plus most of the time the pci will be a configuration of six and then another two separate make eight whereas the cpu will be four and four okay most of the time now connect the cpu i'm going to connect the 24 pin motherboard again only goes in one way uh, again sometimes can be quite annoying oh lordy 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 ah yes boy yes boy uh, but, uh, but, yeah we go it's gone in it's gone in chaps it's gone in Whew. I'm sweating already. I am sweating. And last but not least, the pièce de résistance. Not for this build, but usually for gaming PC, it's going to be the pièce de résistance. Is going to be our. This one takes one to eight pin PCIe cable, and it doesn't really matter which one you go for. Um, I'll go for the first one here. Uh, let's see, is this way or this way? I think it's this way. Krasnots. Okie dokie. There we go. Oh. Hopefully, guys, the next build we do will be a proper top-down um, view because I have a new camera, but I haven't had a chance to get myself accustomed with it. So I will try to get a top-down view with a dual camera setup and dual perspective, which would be a better experience for everyone, hopefully. Oh, yeah, I am. I'm sweating, man. Good workout, dude. Okay, this will we'll do something about that later. Okay, and voila. So, what we have, ladies and gentlemen, is a completed, without electricity yet, assembly of a post test outside the case. Five components. So, what do we have? Power supply, motherboard, processor with a cooler ram and graphics card and that's all you need now we obviously need to power this on connect it to a monitor which i kind of underestimated because i am not kind of prepared for this right now so this is going to go into wall socket and i need to find a cable to connect one of these to a monitor now how am i going to show you guys this i'm going to have to do a bit of a diy now bear with me bear with me what i'm going to do you have two choices guys i can either pass you on to julio and shaka and they will take over until i transfer transfer this to the you know to my left right side of the table in fact you know what? i'm going to show you hang on a sec okay right now my place is in a mess okay so i don't have a actually yeah i do i do i can connect it here okay i need i need to find the hdmi cable and i'll be back so should we pause the stream for now and resume or should we just head over to shaka who may be able to take your questions shaka what do you want to do yeah somebody was asking if we we're taking questions i'm going to see what he says okay no problem um okay let me find a cable it's gonna be a bit of a problem if we've done everything if we've done everything correctly we should be able to post this 
relatively easily. Um, I need a cable. I just need a cable. All right. Just give me one tick, guys. We're coming back. Um, Julio and Shaka, should I just stop the stream while I get my cable and stuff, or should I just leave it on and you guys can speak to them? Uh, I'm trying to answer some questions right now. Yeah, but um, what? Right, guys, what I'm going to do, um, don't go anywhere. I'm just going to grab a couple of cables, okay? So I'm going to stop the stream now. We're going to resume in a couple of minutes as soon as I get the cables. Um, oh, do you know what? I might well just play something, you know. Um, what do I want to play? Do you do you have an intermission um, screen? I don't have intermission screen, no. Ah, crap. Okay, listen, I'm going to leave it on. Uh, Shaka, you need, uh, Julio says you need to just um, ch chill, um, talk to the people, man. So I guess you're going to talk to the people then. Okay. Is that okay? So where are you? I can't see you anymore. Did you, is your camera off? Um. Yeah, hold on. Okay. There you go. Um, Shaka is on. He's going to take over from me until I get my cable. So I'm going to mute my microphone as soon as I'm ready. Give me like about three to five minutes. Okay. Spirit, Spirit Peak, you were saying um, how much it costs to build an Irish gaming PC. All right. So... Here's the thing. It depends on your budget. It depends on what games you want to play. If you know you're not going to be interested in all the games, you look at the specifications for each game that you want to play first. And then you do the research, the parts that will suit those games the best. All right? It doesn't make any sense to um, fork out all this extra money for the best parts. I think that's what where people go wrong. They, they want to get the best performance possible, but then they end up spending too much money sometimes on stuff that they probably don't even need, you know? So you do the bet, you do the research based on what games you want to play, and then you purchase the games based on that. Uh, we chat. Okay. okay, unknown. You're saying that you have a blank screen? AMT. Hold on, let me see if I can Google that. AMT. IKPAG dot sys. Okay, that was a video failure. I just Googled it. So, one of two things unknown is either you have a failing GPU or your graphics card driver has crashed. So, your, if your PC has onboard video, um, you're going to have to look into that. Um, hello, Asif? Hey, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Hey, guys. I just want to say thank you. Thank you for the opportunity. And uh, I think you guys do, are doing a great thing here. Um, I have a build. I have a my current PC. It's a Ryzen thirty nine hundred X with a okay. AI, right? And um, I have two monitors. One being two hundred forty hertz. That's my main gaming monitor. And then I have my second monitor sitting on uh, sixty hertz. And from time to time, what will happen is that uh, the second monitor, the sixty hertz, will completely go berserk. And uh, when I say berserk, as in like it will go like basically black, and sometimes it will go black and gray. You know, like the static. Um, oh, okay. I was wondering if you guys have dealt with it in the past, because I've went through maybe ten hours uh, across Reddit and like maybe the different forums across the internet, and I haven't found any luck. But one thing, which was basically turning off display scaling on uh, Nvidia control panel for the second monitor, and even with that, it will sometimes go crazy. Oh, 
It sounds as though you're, you're having some artifacting on your screen of some kind. The second monitor, yep. Yeah. Um, what CPU do you have? Uh, 3900X. Oh, yeah, the 3900X. Okay, so the thing is that doesn't have any onboard video. Um, and the video card is a... 2080 Ti. Zotac. 2080... Yeah. 2080 Ti, okay. That's a beefy card. Yeah, hundred percent. Like I thought it would, it would be like because it's a beefy card, right? Uh, I've had serious issues with the AMD card, Vega sixty four, and then okay. with that I couldn't use my second monitor. Period, and then I upgraded to this maybe like a month ago. Um, and uh -huh. uh, I mean it's usable time to time, right? But there are times where I have to restart uh, for the for that issue. Okay, um, if the second monitor screen is the only one that is messing up on. I'd say, um, what about, so the, uh, the the first screen works fine, right? Yeah, first first screen is fine. First the 240 is... hertz, no issues, yeah. Okay. Um, and you don't have any other systems to test the 60 hertz panel on? Um, I do have a laptop that I could probably plug it into, yeah. Okay, yeah, that, what, what I would do is I will plug... See if you can plug the second screen into your laptop and see if it does the same thing. That way you can rule out whether or not the graphics card is causing the problem or the screen is the problem. Or you can take the other monitor screen of the equation and see if it does the same thing. So you won't have yeah. to use two computers to test it. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll definitely do that. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, okay. appreciate it. Yeah. All right, guys, so um, I just was letting Shaka finish this. If you can see... I have moved from my desk here, we've moved the components over, I'm using my webcam, and uh, we've got it set up here. Um, sorry, I'm a bit far from the mic. Can you guys hear me okay, yeah? Yeah, okay. I hear you. So, we got a monitor, and I've plugged in a HDMI cable to the only HDMI port. Remember, don't make the mistake, if the motherboard has ports, you don't want to plug onto the motherboard video port, you want the graphics card video port. Uh, it's one HDMI and the rest, I believe it's a uh, um, display port. Okay, so moment of truth. Now this uh, monitor is a no symbol monitor. I'm going to turn it on from the back and I'm going to also switch to the right uh, combination, which should be the right input. Uh, it needs to be HDMI. Where are you? Um, okay, so as long as my cable is working and it's plugged in, Monitor is working, and I know they should be working. Uh, moment of truth, we're going to grab a little screwdriver. I'm going to look for the pins on here to just turn them on. Where is the pins now? I wish I had done this before. Where is my pins? Can you guys? Oh, it should be here. I'm taking my glasses off. Uh, pins is going to be power LED, HD reset power. Okay. Okay, I think I know. It's these two here. Okay, so let's turn that on. On the switch, I can't see the monitor, guys. So I'm sorry if I'm not showing you the right thing. Where is my switch? Okay, turn this on here. The power supply, and we are going to touch these two pins, and it's turned on. Fingers crossed. Do we have post? Fingers crossed. Do we have post? Do we have post? Do we have post? Do we have Pessy. post? Do we have post? Come on. Come on, please. We don't got post. Why we don't got post? Sometimes some systems reboot themselves to initialize True the memory. That. True that. Properly, yeah. True that. If we don't got post, I'm going to have to just go and check my settings. But this is spinning. This is spinning. Nothing on there yet. Ooh. And as you can see, you already have RGB. You didn't need that cable. Yeah, I think the RGB is going to come on, but we won't be able to control it without the cable. Now, I don't get post. Does it mean that something is wrong? It could be my cable has moved. It could be my cable is not right. Hey, mother truckers! Yippee ki yay, mother fathers! We have poo! <laughs> yeah, we got it. <laughs> and that is, that is a beauty. Now, that is a beauty. Here we go. Okay, this is what we're talking about, guys. First pause, yeah? 
every time nice one congratulations to myself and to all of you well done you have done your first initial post test and that's all you need everything after will be easy peasy lemon squeezy there we um, go nice one nice one i think we deserve Yo. a bit of a can you guys hear me yeah yeah right. i can hear you all right i was gonna say uh there's someone here called uh zogly they're they're waiting here they're gonna uh they're basically gonna be explaining a pc problem if okay. you guys want to just answer. hold on that thought for a sec so okay oh, hold on that thought, give okay? me a minute hold on oh all right so with my microphone okay so that was um, my main aim for today um, I'm happy with the results. Are you guys happy with the results? I've shown you live how to yep. put components together for a first post test. We've done a first post test. First turn on, switch on, bang! Bob's your uncle. Every part is brand new. So, you know, that was helpful. Um, now we have a choice to make. We can continue the stream. Um, you guys can decide. We have two choices to make. One, we pause the stream now from OBS because I need to get myself set up for the next part, which is going to be putting all the parts into the case, which is going to be a much longer process. Or we can do that tomorrow. The other choice would be to stop the stream completely. And then maybe in a couple of hours, if we're ready, um, we can resume the stream uh, in terms of today itself, but a new stream, not continuing the same stream. Or I'm going to put you in the hands of my capable tech admins and we continue this stream. It's going to be long and you can now do a lot of your troubleshoot stuff. I don't know how long it will take me to set myself up for the PC case, maybe 30 minutes, maybe an hour. I'm not sure. So what would you guys like to do? Should we get the tech admins to do troubleshoot and then uh, we, whenever I'm ready, we resume the continuation of the build or should we pause the stream and we restart the stream a bit later on? Um... If you're out to it, you, we can we can continue. I don't see anything um, wrong with it because we we didn't need a lot of parts until for first test it. So correct, right? But the yeah. the assembly into the case is going to be a bit tedious. What I think probably is better is that if I pause the stream on OBS, okay, YouTube will just have a you know it will just kind of stop for now, isn't it? But you guys can continue on Discord doing all the troubleshoot stuff. So once I'm ready. Yeah. To resume the putting into the case, then I'm just going to continue the stream, and then hopefully it will have given you guys some time to deal with troubleshooting stuff, whatever, and then we can resume. How about that? Yeah, we got two people in here now. Um, MG. Yeah, I was going to say, uh, for for now, for everyone watching, uh, like I, I was going to say, yeah, like let, let's just just stop the stream so you can get ready, you know, eat or you know take a break, whatever you got to do, and then uh, Shaka will be here. Uh, talking with the people that are queued up. I'll I'll, I'll be here in the chat too. I'll just be muted. No listening. problem. Okay, that's fine. So guys, I'm going to take a short break, uh, probably half an hour, maybe a bit more. And once we're ready, we're going to put these parts into the case. Okay. Uh, bear in mind, I don't have an ideal um, setup right now in terms of the top down view. I don't have a top down view. I wish I did. Um, so it's going to be the same kind of angle. So the case might be a little big, but we'll work around it. We'll try our best. But for our next stream, I will do my best. We've got a new camera. I'm going to set it up properly top down view and a second camera to test uh, so that we can give you guys a better experience, hopefully. Okay. So don't go anywhere uh, in terms of YouTube. We will we'll be back, but I'm going to pause the stream on OBS. You can continue on Discord with my tech admins. So I'll see you in a bit. Peace out. Peace out, guys. Peace out. Why is he streaming from before? Hmm? Huh? I don't know. It's giving me some before stream. What do you mean? Hmm not giving my feed right now okay we've, we're back guys i think we're back um if you can see my hand and i've changed the cam a little bit it's not a perfect top-down view it's still using my webcam but we're back we're going to continue the second part which is now we're going to put all these parts we've just tested into the case here okay so i'm going to start doing this and i didn't want to miss any step i want to do to this live from start to finish with all of you lot so we're going to give some people some time to join on youtube and on discord remember if you want to join discord we've got a server and my admin will kindly put the link again here if they can uh, on youtube 
uh, let me just have a quick look waiting for some people to come on to YouTube we streaming fine and I'm gonna check on my uh, uh, phone whether we can hear me or not so let's find out okay um. Yeah, we can hear you, Shaka. So, are you um, um, am I audible on YouTube now? Let's find um, out. I mean, I refresh this. You refreshed it. Let me see if it's gonna work or not. Okay, so we're back, guys. If you're just joining in, we're gonna continue the build. We're gonna put the parts that we've tested for the first post into the case, which is to my left here, slightly different. Yeah, first post. I'm audible, so it's just fine. Cool. All right, that's all right. That's okay. Okie dokie, artichoke. Let's get cracking. So, uh, I think we, we didn't plan for this properly, but let's move on. Okay, so these parts, if you're just joining us, we've tested them. Post is fine. You don't need to do anything else, okay? Now, we're going to put into the case. So, you could prep your case first or you can dismantle this first whichever it doesn't really matter i'm going to dismantle this first the only thing i'm going to remove from here is i'm going to unplug the pin for the um, gpu i'm going to remove the 24 pin for the motherboard and the 8 pin for the um, cpu okay i'm going to leave the rest we're probably going to have to remove the gpu a bit later on um, at the same time, we have, if you guys remember, we bought an NVMe, which we probably can install now on here. Uh, in which case, I think I'm going to have to remove this. So to remove the GPU, there's a little tab underneath the GPU to find it and press it down. Uh, can find it. Yeah, that's true. I will get the NVMe drive installed right now well it's already the case yes um well it's if it's not um if it's already in the case it's going to be a lot harder to install it there you go so i'm removing the gpu and we're going to leave everything else so ram cooler stays on and we're going to install the nvme all righty then uh, i'm going to remove this out and yet you can have a top view of my system at the moment my table Okay, so the NVMe, um, it goes here. It's going to be a little slot here. We need a little screw. Um, they're quite tiny, these screws. Sometimes they come with the NVMe, sometimes they come with a case. I hope I have one. Um, I don't see any from this angle. Let's find out. Is there only one slot on the motherboard for that? Yes, this motherboard we picked only had one slot. Uh, do you remember we were looking also at a, what was it? Was it MSI that had two slots with a bit more expensive? I oh, think. Oh, yeah. I think so. Am I correct? You know, there has to be a better way of opening these things, man. I'm always doing these wrong. I'm always doing, there's no even cut out here. We need to do uh, how to open these stupid things. Ah. There we are, and I don't think this comes with any tiny screw. It does not. I I'm think the screw is on the motherboard. Yeah. Uh, no, there's no screw on the motherboard in this one. Oh yeah, no, there isn't. You in this one? This is this is the. Oh, this, we're going to remove that. No. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I can see it here. There's a little, what do you call these things? I forgot the name for these now. The stud. Um, the razor. What do you call that? Come on, now I'm going to. Uh, standoff. Standoff, yeah. There's a standoff here, which we're going to move into one of these to put this on there. Um, okay, so let's do that. I believe this is going to go in this way. Plug that in. That we're going to remove with a screwdriver. There you go. 
got the little screw here. By the way, I have a makeshift magnetic trick, which is a, this is a drive, um, you know, like an external drive, um, internal drive bit. I've taken some magnets from them, old drives and I've collected at the back and now forms a little magnetic tray. It's a bit dirty, but it works for now. And I'm gonna have to, oh. I'm gonna have to remove this. I also pull the magnet out of a hard drive and I use it to magnetize my screwdriver. Yep, you can do that as well. This doesn't want to come out for some reason. Hence, we need a bigger one. Okay, lots. Stanley Knife, who's back on YouTube? Can we get some uh, sort of engagement? Where is. Let me get this one. There we go. Just have to have the right tool for the right job, peeps. Stand off, remove this. I guess I'm gonna have to remove this stand off now and place this in first. There we go. Plug that in there. M.2 and our little screw. Little tiny screw. Place this here again. Get this one here. This is gonna be tedious. So you guys need to entertain each other, yeah? Shaka, take over, man. Ask questions. You guys can do troubleshoot. Um, this is gonna be the uh, only it's, it's right now. No, nobody's asking any questions, I don't think. Everybody knows everything. Wow. So we've done a good job. <laughs> Our mission uh, is done. Okay. All right. So that's that. Scissors out of the way. Okay, so now that's done, we are going to put this to the side and work on the case. Alright, I am not familiar with this case. And I think I need to maybe turn it this way. Oops. I think I need to unzoom this because... Hopefully, next one, I'm going to have a nice... Uh, I can't do anything with this now, can I? Configure video. Nope. Crap. Okay, that's fine. No worries. Okay, the case. These are two less um, thumb screws, which I'm going to remove to remove the side panel. Alright, so let's start with these ones. And the screws go back into our little tray now next time hopefully I'll get my better camera better setup so we can do this a much better more professional looking top-down view there we go and we're gonna slide the panel out how does this come out I don't even know how does this come out I've not worked on this case before guys so bear with me you should oh. just lift off all right yeah. nice oh it's heavy oh it's heavy I put it away I put it away there we go Okay, we this case was not new. Uh, it was a return item or refurbish or open box, whatever it was. So I'm hoping all the accessories are there. They may not be. Um, so we're going to check the box in a minute. Uh, this case has a front fan. Looks like 12, is it 12 mil, 12 centimeter? Could be. And then 120 millimeter. It's 120 and a back 120 as well. There is space to add another one. There is space to add a third one at the bottom. There's space to add a whole radiator with three fans or two of bigger fans. There's space for, space for radiators up um, up on this side. And we have a nice shroud for the uh, power supply. To be fair, this is the first time I'm actually working in a case with a shroud. I haven't done one before. Uh, so this is the... Carbide Series 257R from Corsair. This is not sponsored, guys, but if you want to sponsor us, feel free. We are not going to say no. And for good measure, I know for a fact I'm going to need to have access to the back. So we're going to remove the back cover as well. Two thumb screws. And these panels, I think, I think these screws, they remain on there. You can just slide the screws out. Slide the side panel out and voila. 
There we go. So we got two back covers for the SSD if we want to. Okay, we got a bottom tray here, which I did not know. Probably not going to need this. There's a lot of space and a lot of nice. It's a nice case. I've never thought of using a white case before. I might get one in the near future. Um, so the first thing I'm going to want to check, and you should always check, are your standoffs. Okay. And luckily for us, Corsair has already played some standoffs. We've got one. I don't know why it's cutting off, but I've got I've got a bit of a problem with the standoff in the middle here. There is something protruding. I'm I'm going to guess that it's dropped. Okay, guys, does anybody in, know anything about this case? Should there be something stuck in the middle standoff? I don't think they should. So I don't know what that is. Let me check the motherboard. I, I think you just pulled out the manual for the case there earlier. Yeah, I'll check the case, but this is weird. It's always good to check. Does this go in there? Hmm. Maybe just slides in there. It's a bit weird. We'll see, we'll see. Okay. Let's, we can check the manual. If the manual tells me that there is a little screw in there, then that's fine. I'm not seeing this one. Dang, dang, dang. Guys, don't underestimate manuals, okay? You have to always check the manual. And I can't see anything in there. Wait. Kit content. Flat screws. Accessory. Nice. No, not telling me. Maybe that's a new thing, um, which I am not aware of. Anyway, I think I've kind of... Uh, Half measured it looks like it could just fit into one of the holes of the motherboard point being one of the first things to do I would say to you get a um, plier and try to straighten or tighten all the standoffs because this is a big problem that can happen uh, usually for the better makes like Corsair um, fractal design if they will put something in there they would have put it properly Okay, you don't have to worry about it, but just in case. And these standoffs you can buy if you don't have enough. I'm just checking that they're not loose. So, I do have a tool somewhere, but for the life of me, I haven't built a computer for so long, I don't know where it is. Okay, should be fine. Now oh, you mean a 5mm socket um, tool? Yeah, yeah, somewhere. Yeah, I have one of those. <laughs> okay. I used to use the players to, to turn on those things, but now I have the 5 millimeter socket. It makes things a lot easier. Fair enough. All right. One thing you must absolutely do before you place your motherboard into the case. You should bring your motherboard near the case and you should and check the holes. Thing. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Most motherboards would have nine. But you could have more you should check the alignment of the standoffs okay generally whether they are there whether they're going to fit if you've got any missing that's where you should be doing that so what's the next step anybody um do you know guys give me like 30 seconds because i've zoomed the camera a bit too much in and i haven't enough space so i'm just going to pause the stream for like literally a few seconds and resume straight away Okay. Okay, are we live? Are we live? I don't see myself. Are we live? Yeah, we're live. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Now, um, it didn't work. Never mind. Okay, what's the what's the one crucial thing you have to do before you place your motherboard right now? Um, make sure that the that there's no standoff where there's no um place on. Yes, but there's no hole on the motherboard. Yeah, we can do that, but there's something else we, we, we haven't done yet, which is important for the case. 
Um, the oil shield, where is it? Correct, oil shield. Uh, a lot of people forget to put this, and I have done this as well as a mistake. Uh, but the question is here, do we go with the motherboard or do we go with the power supply? Does it matter really? It can be done in any order, honestly. Correct, uh, it could be done in order. Um, I'm going to go with the motherboard for now. I just got the IO shield. And, and one of the things that I like to do is mm. I find that a lot of people do the front panel connectors last. I, I find I like to get those out of the way because from the time you put in the power supply, all those cables are going to be in the way, and then it's going to make it, seeing things inside the case harder. Yeah, so those front it, panel connectors are very, very small, and correct. it can get in the way last. Correct. Very nightmare to do. Um, you can do that. It depends on your cable length, though. Some some computers, some cases won't allow you to do this, but generally you can try to do that. Okay. Uh, get your um, I/O shield. Check the orientation with your motherboard. I'm going to check that. So you want to just bring it over and have a quick test how it's going to fit in, which is going to be this way, I'm guessing. Yep. So now I know it's going to go in this way. And we're going to try to find the slot. Where's the slot? This way. And we're going to place it in. The keyboard PS2 um, is always the top. The audio is always at the bottom. Mm -hmm. And it snaps in. Come on. These things are dangerous sometimes. It can cut you. Be careful. There needs to be a better system of doing this, man. We need an app for this, right? Snap. Snap all the corners. It can be a pet peeve for some people. But IO Shield is not obligatory for the current function of your PC, except that it will allow some extra dust. But, you know, it's got nothing to do with whether your PC will boot up or not. Believe me, that has come up before. Okay, moment of truth. We are going to place the motherboard in. Gently, you can grab it by the cooler. And hopefully... Align all the holes, and it looks like that little, yeah, the little middle piece standoff was there f by design. And give a quick check on the side to see if all the ports are, are met, which is fine on my end. And I've dropped the panel, so yeah, it's all aligned in nice. And I would immediately want to put at least one screw at this stage. I should have checked what we got in our box of screws before I did all of this, but hey, because we may be missing some stuff here. I do have screws somewhere, but there's all kinds of screws sometimes and it can be a bit of a problem. All right, so we got some screws, fine. So it's gonna be this. Oh, these are what? Oh, these are for extra. Um, I'm guessing fans. Fans. What are they? Are what are these? Okay, don't know. What are these? Don't know. All right. So it's gonna be these little tiny ones for the motherboard. I think. Let's test it out. Let's get one. I think we might be do goy. Let's screw one in. Yep, them ones, flat. So, um, yes, if you want to be OCD, you can plug in everything at this stage. I mean, we did our post test, didn't we? So it should be fine. We can start screwing everything in. Let's just do it. Um, I would say maybe just screw a, a few and complete your build because sometimes you forget like a cable is stuck at the bottom. So if you're not too sure, you can always add the rest of the screws later. But hopefully we won't mess up too bad. We're only live. <laughs> okay, people, I don't hear any talking from anyone on Discord. You guys can join on Discord if you want. You can ask questions. You can contribute. If you want to just call in live, 
to say a few words. I'd love to hear from you. If you want to make suggestions, if you want to contribute to our super chats, if you want your troubleshoot questions answered, join on Discord. My tech admins will take care of you. Um, um, Muhammad was saying he was going to um, go in super chat. Oh. I, I wonder if he meant that he's going to donate. I don't know what he means by that. Okay, maybe he wants to chat to us in a super way. <laughs> Either way, you're welcome, Muhammad. Okie dokie. Wait, he says I'm leaving because you guys are the worst. What? What? Are you, what? Ah, it's okay. Don't worry. That's fine. People are free to come and go. It's a free country. It's a free YouTube internet. No problem. Don't take it personally. You don't need to answer back, okay? Sometimes people are just messing about. Uh, unlucky for content creators. I've noticed this. That... No matter what you do online, there will always be people that's going to hate. You know, I'm not saying this person is hating. I'm saying no matter what you do, you can't please everyone. But, you know, you learn to develop a thick skin over time and just move on. And I think I've got all my screws in. Eight screws. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I've got all my eight screws in. So this won't go anywhere. Good stuff. Now at this stage, I think I want to... I'm going to put my power supply before I put the GPU. Okay, let's yeah. do the power supply. I need, I... I need to put any GPU to give it power. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, let me put my screws in there. Handy dandy. Download, is it? So, wait a minute, because of the power supply, it's shroud. That means that the power supply is going to have to go in on the other side? Yep. It's... Yep. Okay. At the... There you go from, from this angle at the back. And then we're going to filter through the cables. So I guess I'm going to remove this. I think I need to remove this, don't I? Um, do I need to remove this to install? I mean, there is a cutout here to put the cables through. Okay, let's do that next. We'll see. Um, if budget had allowed i would have gotten a semi-modular power supply it would have been better um but you know this will do fine for now uh okay fan up or fan down okay i checked out the review of this case and there is a vent on the top for the to allow the power supply to on the fan yeah there's a vent on top there's also a vent down so on it the gives, bottom. yeah it, it gives you option for both the vent on top and vent at the bottom as well so you've got both options. Um, so what do you guys think? You could do either, to be honest, because you could draw in air from the bottom, push it out just to cool the power supply itself. Or you could draw air from inside the case and push it out. But bearing in mind that air inside the case would be a bit hotter than air coming from the bottom. Um, it's not a deal breaker. Because of the shroud, um, you do whatever you feel is okay. But I would say go with the cable. Uh, orientation and uh, closeness so if it's close to the cutout hole here so I'm gonna want to put the power supply I would say this way so fan down okay fan facing down I'm gonna put it this way yeah also um, it allows the label of the post to be in the right orientation so that another technician can see but then again, the, the power supply shot is in the way. Um, yeah, it's not a big problem. So you just need uh -huh. to screw them in. Um, okay, let's see. So, all right, and then some screws. I mean, I do have thumb screws somewhere, but we're going to use these screws. If you have thumb screws, a lot easier. But these are standard screws. Okie dokie. Need a bigger screwdriver. Too tiny now. Okay. Let's do one at least. Uh, God, I hate this stuff. Hold it in place. Let's get a second one. 
hold it in place. And let's get the third and the fourth. So how's everyone doing on YouTube and on Discord? Much activity on Discord right now. Not much? No. Fair enough. Any troubleshoot questions? All not, right. not yet. That's done. Pass supplies in. Um, I'm not going to push these. Actually, yeah, I'm going to start to push some of the cables in. So we're going to push the 24 pin cable through the other side <sighs> this extra bit is getting in my nerve now I think I should I want to get uh, I'll try to make do without so the four pin actually no the four the the CPU pin will go through the back be routed right through the back to go on top here there's a cutout here okay so we'll we'll do the cable management last I'm not bothered with that at this stage um, all this stuff yeah it's best to get the cables routed first and then you can always do the cable management last okay we are gonna push the PCI cable for the graphics card uh, and I've just moved the uh, that's the annoying part we have to keep moving stuff back and forth Oopsie daisy. Alright. Pulling enough pull that. I'm gonna have to do these later. So the aesthetics, you know, doesn't matter at this stage. We can always do this later. Just functionality is far more important right now. And what else we got? What other cable am I gonna push through? We got the um the CPU at the top, the 24 pin motherboard, and the GPU are the main ones. Later for the disk, it'll depend where we put them. So that, that'll do for now. Push these in. Hide these at the back. Alrighty then. These also go at the back. I want them right now. Oh, these are the audio and the front port. The front port stuff. I have to do this in a minute. Where does the front port stuff go? Uh, at the bottom. How do we route them? Can we route them through there? <laughs> front panel connectors. Okay, the front panel connectors, I can't see how to write them apart from... No, I think it should go through the same cutout hole. Am I right? It's going to be difficult. Yeah. Yeah, I need to get them through the same cutout hole. And then I'll do that later. Yeah, I can't see much because of the, the camera angle, so... Yeah, yeah, unfortunately... I need, I need I need the camera guy, man. If you want to do this professionally, oh, let's do this. Let's do this. We can do through here. Can do through here. This past take a long time, man. All right, sorted. Audio port, same thing. Audio, where's the audio? Audio is going to be. Where's the audio part? Okay, all the way down there. All right. Audio, and then. USB, USB 3, it's going to be here. Oh. Okay. 
Okay, got it. Okay, so let me just explain what I've done um, here. I've pushed through USB 3, front panel connectors, and uh, there was something else, I can't remember what it was. USB 3 and front panel connectors are two main ones uh, from the power supply, from the case rather, sorry. And we're gonna connect these. Um, let's first just connect the CPU on this end. One th of the things which I advise first time builders to do is to get a normal size mid tower case. Don't get a mini case or don't get a micro ATX case if you're a first time builder. It is a pain to um, plug in stuff in a very small case if you're a first time builder. It's quite hard. So you want as much room as possible, unless you've got any issue with space in your home, don't. Don't do micro ATX builds as much as you can afford it. And now I'm gonna struggle, obviously. Okay, okay. Yeah, it's gonna be a pain. See, I can't even plug these in properly and that's got enough space anyway. But I'm gonna struggle. There we go, one's gone in. Second one. There we go. CPU plug done. Oh, the power supply. The 24 pin, I, the 24 pin could have been routed better. Uh, let me see if I can change that. 24 pin. Four pin is going to be there, so we're going to route it. So we're going to route it different place. Okay, I've rerouted the twenty-four pin, so it comes out from this hole instead. It's much closer to the board. Cable management is about trial and error. You know, have a look where cables are, where ports are, and just you know keep trying. There we go, 24 pin done. Um, I guess before you put your GPU, you're gonna want to plug in your audio, your USB 3, and whatever else you can to the front port. Oh yeah, the audio, where did the audio go? I thought it was the audio earlier. The audio port, let's come out again. Front panel audio coming in. Okay, note to self, next time do the front panel stuff before putting the power supply. It's a little bit of a pain, uh, but it's not the end of the world. We live and learn, we live and learn. Okay. All right. The audio is down there somewhere, so I'm gonna plug that in, okay? front audio all right front panel audio gone in now we want to connect the USB 3 okay I'm gonna do the front panel connectors this is a nightmare guys I've got a good video on my channel is doing quite well. It's a very clear, simple video. If you want to learn how to um, connect these in, but for now, I can't show you any better. I'm so sorry. This is just the lighting and the camera angle is going to be a bit awkward. Yeah. What about the zoom? Is the zoom working? Like what? The zoom. What about zoom? 
on your camera like um no i couldn't get it to work unfortunately um damn it's streaming already um from next time we'll do something better okay so but if you want to know how panel connectors are connected from panel i've got a good video very good one because it's, the reason is good because it's doing quite well so i should do more of these okay and dang if in doubt for the front panel consult your manual okay it's just a bit awkward to get through um i've done this many times i should be fine do you know what i'm going to check the manual i'm going to place this on the manual okay we're we'll back I've got the manual, sorry you can't see because of my exposure, but I'm just going to go with the manual. I know exactly where each is going to go. All right, power LED, the first two, hard drive LED. Okay, got it. Because I can't see inside the board right now. So power, we said PLED, HDD, there's no HDD, power, power switch. Power switch is going to be these two. Power LED. Plus minus. Okay, gotcha. This is the power reset switch. Mm-hmm, bottom two. Power LED. HD, no, 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 power LED should be up. All right, done. Um, I haven't got HDD LED on this one. It's not that important anyway. It doesn't have hard drive lights? No, I haven't got any for the hard drive lights. Or maybe I've missed it. Let me check through the back. Usually the reset switch, power switch, power LED and hard drive LED are all good together. Yeah, it's not, it's not essential to have hard disk drive. That's because uh, probably the hard disk drive used to be for normal hard disk, not SSD. I'm guessing that's why they have removed it. Unless I'm missing one there. I can't seem to be missing one. Okay. Anyway, not a big problem. It's just It just shows hard drive activity. It's not important for post. All right. Uh, now I'm going to plug in some... Um, no, I'm going to do the... Yeah, let me do the fans. Uh, there's a fan for the back panel fans, LED CPU fan, back panel fan. Oopsie daisy, I can't see anything here. System fan, okay. All the way at the back there is a system fan. Let me try to plug that in here. With all this cabling management, much, much later. Oh. Uh, Spooky Tofu is asking a question. He asked, uh, he said, you, you said at the start of the stream, you plan to do boutique builds. How far do you plan to ship the computers? Okay, so once we all agree on the conditions, it will be anywhere in the world. Should not be a problem as long as we can get some help from you guys with the funding, but we should be able to ship it anywhere in the world. Uh, again, don't quote me on it. Don't burn your candles just yet. It will be a collaborative effort with, you know, my tech admins, with all you lot. 
and we want to make it a theme on the channel so it will take time to build up um, so just stay tuned for all the details hopefully okay now I've done uh, one of the back fans I'm gonna do one of the front fan system for now um, where's the front fan plug front fan system plug looking for the front fan oh man I can't find the front fan front fan does it not go on the motherboard this one maybe it goes into a side connection I cannot find it okay I'll look for that later it's not that essential uh, okay I'm gonna plug in the USB 3 there we go USB 3 is done and that's that So what have I got missing? The only thing I can't find is the plug pin header for the front fan just yet. I may have to plug it into like one of the power supply connector or I'll look for the system fan later. Where is the system fan, man? CPU fan, I can't find it. Okay, no worries. Okay, now we have two more things to plug into. We did not uh, do this earlier, but if you remember from our past, we also have a PCI... Um, module for the Bluetooth uh, so we're gonna do that there's a low profile bracket there's a normal one there's an antennas and there is some sort of USB connector I don't know why we've got USB connector for this does it need it or oh, probably it does okay I'll do that in a bit let me just put in uh, yeah I'll do that first okay we're gonna plug that module in I've not done one of these before so bear with me okay so Fairly simple stuff. I think it goes with the cable. Um, I think those wireless cars plug in USB 2.0. Okay, should do. It's, is there that a connector go. on there too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a connector on there. There you go. That goes, plugs in there. Fairly simple. So tiny. It's so tiny. Does this go this way, this way? Oh, it goes no way. Okay, it goes this way. Right, I'm trying to plug that in. There you go. Clips in. It goes in one one of the USB two. Yeah, it's gonna go one one of these USB two. Yeah. Okay, we need to remove one of these little brackets. So I'm gonna put it to the very end. This the little one here. So remove this bracket. snaps in you want to do this before you put your graphics card otherwise you know it gets a bit difficult and the cable is a bit long so I'm going to just do a little tie in and we can do cable management much much later on did the right way in yes I did there you go and last but not least we need to do our graphics card. You just need to check which two um, back plate, whatever you call them, the side thing is to remove. It's going to be this one and this one. Okay, third and second and third. Just remove these. There we 
go. Alright, it's so annoying to do these things sometimes. Let's get stuck. It's annoying to do this live. Alright, let's put our graphics card in. Mohammed said he's joined us on Discord. Okay, cool. That's been some problem, I don't know. What problem? Which Mohammed? Is it the same he's, one who he's... left earlier? No, um, there's another one here. Okay, why are you not fitting in? It's a problem now. What is problem? What is problem? Why are you not fitting? And did I, did I remove the wrong ones? Did I remove the wrong ones? Um, I may have removed the wrong ones. Dang, I knew it. Well, I did not know it. I probably removed I the think, wrong one. I, I think you need to remove the first one. Oh, you yeah. mean the thing that I'm just doing right now? Thanks, Shaka. <laughs> no, you, you forget, um, your stream is delayed on my time, so. <laughs> yeah, 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 no worries. No, it's not that. Something is blocking it there. A slot blocking, it's blocking it. Some something is blocking. What's going on? Oh. I'll work it out. I'll work it out. I'll work it out. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. Do you guys know something I don't? Why can't I get this in? Um, try to see if something's blocking the um, you know the two metal prongs that go on on the bottom of the card. Yeah, yeah, I'm checking. There's got to be some reason why that's not going in right now. Um, so is the first two, isn't it? Yeah, the first two. I think I got it now. I had to look from the other side. No, still not going in. The heck? Something is weird. Okay, guys, I'm struggling. I've never struggled to put a graphics card in. Is it the back plate? What's going on? It was in that slot before. Maybe they did post test. So yeah, it was. Yeah. It has to be something is blocking the, the case. So I'm looking from the side. Has gone in. What the heck is going on here? Uh, I don't know. I can't figure it out. Houston, we have a problem. Is it not going in? Are there any cables in the any way at all? Or? No, can't see cable. What the heck is going on, man? Okay, I think we have. I think I managed to slot it in. I think so. Damn, that was temperamental. It doesn't feel right. We'll find out. The retention clip on the PCI Express thing no. come up. No. It's not that. So I don't know what it is. Should lock it in. Okay, we'll figure it out later. If it's not in all the way, we'll know right away because it won't it won't come back on. Like it, like it did earlier. Yeah. Oh, that's the wrong, that's the wrong screw. 
So bigger screws. The bigger screws. This is, hasn't been the smoothest graphics that I've placed in my life. The first hard one I've struggled with. Unbelievable. But uh, thank God for standard size, huh? It's the beauty of PC building. Okay, I'm missing one screw here. How's it gone? One screw for one bracket. Where is it? One bracket screw. All right, close this off. The antenna I'm not going to do now. Do that later. It's the wrong screw again. Ah, come on, people. Ah, seriously? It's the wrong screw again. The heck? Are those screws like thumb screws to fit for the case? No, there is no thumb screws. For this price point, you're not going to get thumb screws. Makes sense. It's more expensive, you might get thumb some screws, but you didn't got this one. I'm just going to put any screw, man. Doesn't matter as long as it fits in there. Don't get too obsessed for matching all your screws. Some people may be a bit OCD on this. As long as it goes in there and it's not moving, I don't really care. All right, cool. Now let's plug in the. PCI cards bit uh, what I would do is before you go any further um make sure you do another post test make sure that it's still posting yeah I'm gonna do a quick post test now yeah. Before I put. Yep. So we'll do that. Um. Right about now. Okay. Okay. I might need to shift you guys over. Ugh. All right, guys, just come over this side. We'll do a quick pause test and just move my microphone for a bit. I'm going to move you people. Come over here. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. Oh, Christ, no, it's, it's, no, it's the wrong one. This is the wrong one. Okay. With my make do, my temporary um little thingy okay just stay here for a sec while i'm gonna connect the plug back you can enjoy the view We're plugging the HDMI to the back. Okay. So it shouldn't take too long to come up this time because so. the first time it had to initialize the RAM and all that stuff okay. and, it, and it rebooted on itself. Okay. So if I've done the front panel connectors correct, we should get some pause. They got power on, lights on, so which is fine. I'm hoping we get some pause. It's a very good step to do. Uh, this is the only pause test you should do after you put your stuff in there. And hopefully everything else will be okay. Yeah, I think we have movement. There we go, we got pause. It's asking us for a boot media, which we don't have right now because no drive. So this is good. Nice. 
and this is a very thank you Shaka for reminding I was going to do it anyway but thank you for reminding and guys please this is also the second post that you should always do at this stage and now it's only a question of putting in the drives and installing your windows and just doing some tidying so there you go that's you know that's interesting and I think I'm gonna call it a day at this stage you guys don't want to see me do the drives do you do you want to see me do the drives can we have a vote and let me show you on our screen well honestly for now i would only deal with um the m.2 nvme because that's the one that's going to be running windows anyway which is and fair I, enough but in terms I'm, of completing the build do you guys want to see the the whole drives put in and done dusted then we can just install stuff can we have a vote what um, the other people say let's see enjoy i give you a little view of my setup which is still not done but it's better than before and i have to embellish it so that's my top down view supposedly that's my old camera uh which i'm supposed to change i'm going to give you a tour of this after i've done it a bit pretty hopefully Okay, Spooky Tofu is saying, yeah, why not? And Mrs. Smiley is saying, install the drives. Okay, okay? fair enough. So what we'll do, we're going to off this. I didn't plug in any keyboard. So we're going to off this from the back straight. Okay. And I'm going to put that back and we'll just finish off with the drive. Oh, need a cameraman. Does anybody want to work for free? Or for some shout outs? Let me know. Ah. <laughs> If you work for me, I give you free troubleshoot, yeah? <laughs> Alright, so the antenna stuff, we can do that later. That came with a card. And the rest of this nonsense. <sighs> Okie dokie. And we sing, swing our microphone back here. Alright. So this is okay. Let's place the drives. Where do you guys want me to put the drives? I guess the SSD can go at the back on it. And uh, one of the main drives can go at the bottom. Am I correct? Yeah, that's true. There, okay. are, there are two... Um... Two SSDs and two drives can go. Or, yeah, SSDs on the back. Okay, yeah. the question is, what do you do with the SSD? All right. First SSD. There we have it. Hey, uh, Mr. Smiley says, nice keyboard. Wait, do you have a... Is that a Red Dragon? No, this is... This is... Um, this is... What is this? Corsair Strafe, Strafe, whatever you call that. Uh, mechanical. Oh. I bought that a while ago. Um, I wish I had bought RGB. Back then I wanted to go with a red and black theme, but when I do upgrade eventually I will go with an RGB instead. But it's a good keyboard. I mean, once you go mechanical keyboard, I can tell you I have problems typing on a normal keyboard. It's amazing. <laughs> the, the experience is completely different. I won't go back. Hopefully. Okay, so cable management we'll do later. For now, um, which one doesn't really matter? We'll just put in this one. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, let me just get the cable for the SATA. Ooh. Guys, I need to sort out my setup. So I want to do more of these builds, hopefully. And uh, we got a right angle thingy going on here, so um, this way, let's find out where it's gonna go. So, this way, so we can place it this way. That'll work. Will that work? No, it's not going in this way for some reason. To go the other way. Does it go outside? What the heck? No, it doesn't go outside. 
Am I am I placing this wrong? What am I doing? It won't fit in. Why does What's going on? I don't know. It, it won't fit. Does this go? Does this go on the other side? Does it go up like that? Does anybody know if it goes outside? <laughs> because it won't fit in the little case. Yeah, I guess it does, isn't it? Um. I guess it does go like that. Yep. It looks like it goes like that. Oh well. Live and learn. So who forgot their case? How this is at the back? Yes, Mr. Smiley. <laughs> it happens, bro. It happens. It happens. There we go. I don't need to put four. I'm just going to put two. Should be fine. So it goes like that, man. I hope it closes. I hope it closes. I don't know. We'll find out later. You only need one screw to hold it down now. Yeah, here we go. Okay, so that's that, and let's put the other drive. Let's put it at the top or oh, the bottom, doesn't really matter. Our main drive. Oh, yeah, one other thing I just remembered mm -hmm. the, um, the spot where you're supposed to plug the drives on the motherboard. Do you have to skip port number one or number zero? Oh, is it because uh, we put the um because the NVMe? The yeah. NVMe. M so which port yeah. am I skipping? One and zero. I say, I'd say go for uh. Hold on, let me look at the okay. picture of the motherboard. Hold on. So guys, these are two less um brackets. It just snaps in. I'm guessing um there's some sort of where is it gone? It's just too less stuff. There you go. So yeah, should be it should be too less unless I'm putting the wrong way again. Uh, come on, man. One so uh, dang. There we go. There we go. Snaps in easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. There we go. And we plug it in there. There we go, and we grab our second thingy, Jimagi. This is a straight one anyway. Okay, so I'm gonna have to bypass one of the ports. You can put it through there. Nope, not through there. Where does it go? Where does it go? Let me have a look at the front. Ah, blow me. So this one, okay, gotcha. So it goes there, and it goes there. Okay. And let's not forget, we need to also power our drives. So we need to find a couple of SATA power from the PSU. SATA connectors. There yeah. we go. So this one should do, hopefully. Did you check, uh, Shaka, which post am I skipping? Uh, I'm going to have to download this manual. Hold on. Okay. 
So guys, if you don't know, um, some motherboards, once you plug in a, an NVMe, you're going to lose a couple of ports. So you have to find out from your specific motherboard which ports you can't plug in a SATA anymore. Okay? And if you don't want to do without the ports, don't use NVMe. Or you can also add in a PCI card for extra SATA ports to connect other stuff, which I've done for my own computer. Because I have, I think, like seven or eight drives or connectors going on. Okay. All right, so the tidying part we'll do later. I'm not too bothered at this stage. So that's the most important part is done. The only thing that I haven't done is connecting the front fan, which I haven't found the plug for yet. But that's not a major issue. Let me just finish this off. And uh, have a look at the port. SATA 01. All right, SATA 0, zero and 1 is on uh, this side anyway. So just to avoid it, I'm just going to plug it into uh, 2 and 3. Um, Number 3, yeah. Should be fine. Um, this is a right angle nightmare. Let me plug the bottom one first. And then the right angle one. Does it go this way? Probably doesn't. It goes in this way. Ah man, uh, the right I hit the right angle once. Maybe I need to swap it around because it won't go in this way. Dang. Okay, gotta swap the right angle once around. No problem. Actually, no, it doesn't want to go in properly. So let me see what I can do. Why do they give right angle ones? You know, I think the only one you might have would have had to skip it. is port number zero. Hmm? I, I think the only one you would have had to skip is port number zero. Okay, no worries. That's fine. Anyway, I'll just plug it in. I can change the the, the SATA cable for a more straight uh, one later on. All right, guys. So that's, that's all... Um, done um you could you could do a post test as well at this stage but i think i don't want to do this because i'm pretty confident we did two post tests and the uh, drive is installed it's just a question of now cable managing tidying and uh, which i'm not going to do live i'm going to do behind the scenes so let me put this away uh it, let's take some questions and finish this off Alrighty then. Wow, we would Wow, okay. So that was it, alhamdulillah. <laughs> like somebody says, spooky tofu. Uh, I'm very sorry I couldn't engage with you uh, more than that I wanted to because doing the build is not that simple. Uh, and to manage, you know, um, Discord and YouTube. But uh, thank God we have, you know, a couple of admins to help us. Okay, nice. So that was it. Is there any questions, specific questions? So you've seen building a computer is not, it's not easy and it's not difficult. It's all relative. Building a computer is easier than it was before. Um, the more you build, the more you get familiar with the parts and different variations of cases, etc. But for the most part, there is a standard process, like you've seen. Um, as long as you do staged and in an order which makes sense, and testing for pause at these two stages we showed you are very, very important. Okay, um, so what's gonna happen next? I'm going to tidy up, you know, the build. I'm gonna install Windows. Um, I'm pretty sure you guys know how to go to a Microsoft website, download the installer, get the latest Windows 10 and do all of this stuff. If you want me to do this live with you, uh, let me know in the comments below. We probably can do it tomorrow. 
if my setup allows for it, but because I'm going to have to show you, like, you know, under the cam and it's going to be a bit difficult. If not, I'm going to do a normal video for the completed build and ship it off to the client. So I want to finish this by tomorrow, hopefully. So watch out for this space. Tomorrow we may come back to do um, the end result. Uh, if I've done the window installation, I may just show you some pre-roll before we do the live stream and take some last questions. Unfortunately, I may not be able to drive down to drop it off. I would have loved to do this. Um, much of the UK is now going into tier two and tier three. So the place I'm supposed to go to is going to be in tier three soon. And there's no way I'm going to get in there. I mean, I could go for work purpose, but it's getting a bit dodgy. So we'll finish off tomorrow. Is there any questions? Does anyone want to ask anything or say anything? Does anyone want to help? And do you guys want to see future builds whereby we make this a regular theme? Every month we're going to do at least one build by the viewers, for the viewers. It's going to be bespoke. It's going to be whichever parts you feel you should. A lot of people have asked for more budget builds and even previous generation gaming PC builds, which is a fantastic idea. Now that Ryzen 5000 series is going to be out, a lot of prices are going to go down for the previous generation. So we may be able to get some decent build for at least minimum 1080p gaming. Okay, shipping. Good. Uh, yes, thank you very much, Spooky Tofu. One of the reasons I did not want to ship is because it is a bit difficult to ship a PC uh, safely. Forget securely, but safely. You know, the parts could move. And I wanted to take a personal trip. I may still end up doing this. We've got time. Tomorrow, I may just decide. Tonight, I may just, after this live stream, finish off the build, test it, and then drive off uh, overnight and get it done. So who knows? That may happen as well. Uh, you're correct, Tofu. Have the GPU ship separately in the GPU box. Yeah, you're correct. I may do this. I will remove everything else except the GPU. And I will try Actually, to... Actually, you don't have to. If the GPU is more, is put inside the box with um, face down, we have it in the car, it won't be able to move around. No, but I'm not going to the car. It's talking about if I ship it off through courier. Oh, ship it. Then, okay. then yeah, we're going to have to securely, um, you know, uh, secure all the internal parts because these people, they don't respect anything fragile all the right way up. So it's a bit of a problem. Hence why I wanted to personally uh, deliver it myself, take a trip. You know, oh. I, I, I want a trip anyway. Uh, okay, we'll see what happens. No problem. Okay, uh, Mukhlis Hasri, can you explain to me how to get the optimum airflow? Linus Tech Tips has a very good video that they did. They did an experiment of three different airflow types. You know, you've got positive pressure, um, neutral pressure, and negative pressure. And um, generally what you want to do is, you can watch the video, hopefully you can find it on, on YouTube, but generally you want the flow of air from one side of your case to exhaust to the other side to the back so ideally what i tend to prefer is bringing fresh air from the front so have more than two more than one fan in the front maybe two fans even three if you can afford it and then orientate the other fan at the back in the same direction which pushes the air out it creates a positive pressure and that's the better way so you also have to bear in mind things like if there's a lot of cabling cabling in between a lot of components you want to remove things that is in the way of the air flow from the front fan to the back fan you want it as free as possible a case like we've just done is ideal for this um, if the client wishes we could add an extra fan in front to create more positive airflow um, that's what you want generally. What you don't want to do is you don't want to bring air from the back and air from the front in opposite direction and then it gets stuck inside. This is called a neutral uh, air pressure and it's not good for cooling and for <laughs> obviously keep, keeping a dust free uh, case. Okay, Mr. Smiley says, I'm a courier for a living and I'm even I'm dubious about sending <laughs> entire. Um, Bills in the mail, even if it's not the delivery driver, it doesn't help if they're ruined in the sorting center. You're correct, bro. I, 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 I'm a bit skeptical. You might have convinced me to finish this build tonight and take a trip tomorrow. Um, so we'll see, okay? Uh, I'll call the client and we'll see what happens. And I'll keep you guys updated. But at, at, at least we've done our build, we've done our live build. It's slightly better than what I did before last time. It was worse. But uh, wait a second, I'll be back. Yeah. <sighs>
if you guys don't believe me, I did buy a camcorder, the Sony HD uh, FDR, sorry, FDR AX uh, 100E. This is a 4K cam. I bought it for two reasons. One, for our live stream to have better, you know, image. Um, for better video than the webcam and also these are they shoot long videos as opposed to a DSLR or mirrorless I know there are exceptions. I know there's software you can use etc But these are a lot more practical in my opinion for videos and I will be doing uh, upcoming video tutorials on this Haven't got used to it yet, but for my next live stream I want to be able to get set up and running. I've got an Elgato capture card somewhere which I have to hook up to this so we'll make these a better experience two cameras for the live build a lot more pretty image hopefully and uh, that's where we want to go so Mr. Smiley UPS can sometimes be good with fragile stuff but they can also be expensive okay Mr. Smiley uh, <laughs> not having a lot of confidence right now but uh, you got a point and I would hate for our effort to go and get ruined by just a courier so I'm gonna find a, a way of doing this hopefully so thank you so much for letting me know. Um, if there are no further questions, I want to thank uh, Julio and Shaka, as usual, for being fantastic on our live stream. Julio or uh, Shaka, anything you want to say? Yep. Um, hopefully, uh, with uh, the, the client won't have much problems with Windows. I'm hoping that they have a smooth experience with the computer. Um, because of that NVMe drive, man, I know it's going to be really fast, for sure. Yep. Um, so that's it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Remember, my name is Ash from Hill My Tech, helping you improve your relationship with tech. Find the subscribe button somewhere and make sure you join our Discord server as well. There will be Amazon affiliate links, hopefully, in the description below. Use them, it'll help us out the channel. And please, guys, share the videos, uh, share the word, share the news. We want to engage more with our audience. We want to make it, you know, about relationships, to be fair. Uh, you've known me, you know, those who've known me for long enough now. I'm not interested into the big numbers. I'm not interested into the f fancy latest stuff all the time. One, I can't compete. Two, nah, that's not me. I want to create relationships with you lots. So help me help you. That's what we're saying. So thank you so much. I will see you in the next one. Peace out. Peace out.